Life is radio. You watching Black Nation? What up, Black Nation? What up, Life is you watching? Next nation. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, the double point. What you know about the double point? Let me do this, bro. Shout out to Black Nation for watching Action Black Nation and this is our Life is Radio. Thank you. 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 Thank so at the beginning of the year Tula just decided to just go crazy with the YouTube channel and he was like, okay cool, we're gonna bring Prime Obsession on board, uh, we're gonna bring Rowdy Plank, uh, Calvin X and Summer Rose on board and we're gonna bring Q on board to do work with her and we're just gonna drop shows every day from Monday to Friday and I was like that's cool let's do it and we just started doing that and after that we realized that we're having a lot of work and we need to you know sort of like delegate all the stuff that we had and we had an internship opening and a lot of people applied for that position and I think we selected about 12 initially and six of those guys, I mean, are working today. They were with us for about two weeks, and after that, they left. Uh, they got hired at the Star at all the different big companies, which I'm happy about. Which is always good. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> Don't worry, mom. We'll make we'll make it up. <laughs> yeah, don't finish me. Like, no, you know your mother when you walk in class and she's like, now, but you gotta do one good thing afterwards. Like, you gotta go home. You gotta do a young good thing afterwards. You gotta cook and clean. And do best work ever. Yeah, don't finish. I'm not, like seriously. I'm like a disappointed mother right now. Everyone is waiting. No, 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 Dope they show me, local steeds on me, you see me all day, every day, bro. So don't act like you know me. I'm kidding, no. we're friends, we're cool, we're nice, so. We are qualified. Even without qualification. We are qualified, yes, yes. man! <laughs> no one can do far about the bad better. Mm. But let's just say, the women that would rather take the easier piece, you know what I mean? Say, rather get a job and be paid for it, but no, I'd rather get a nigga to pay my life. First and foremost, I don't think there is an easy route as a person. No, no, there is. No, I don't think so. We'll give you that. I feel you. No, I, can I, I agree don't with think this? so. No, no. Okay, wait, okay, wait, wait. Yeah. This is Africa's time. Okay, Africa, do your thing, my nigga. Africa, do your thing, my nigga. Roll up your sleeves. Show they can be a girl like me. Yeah. 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 And there's a girl who's just like on a on the top of like I'll give sugar daddy, I'll get a boyfriend, he'll take care of me, all those things. But I'm not going to throw shade on this girl because I don't know how she struggles. I don't know her. No, she's I, Exactly, you know. <laughs> so I mean, it's her path. Let her do her. Yeah. I'm not going to throw shade. I'm not going to disrespect her without having known her struggle. Really? Like it's easy for guys to be like, ah, this girl's just using me, or this, this, that, this, that. She's a bad bitch. It's easy to do all these things, but like until you know a person's struggle, you can't speak about it. I mean, right. it's a challenge for myself. I I I try not to call girls out on their their way. Okay, yeah, shenanigans. Their shenanigans because I wouldn't want to be called out on mine because we're not perfect as women. I okay. also want to involve Shady. the rest of the girls that are in the crew because okay, guys, this is very cute. It's very cute. I, I love it. And Deep it's a discussion that's going to go on forever. Deep is a pseudo-feminist. 
<laughs> no, no, no. I, you know I, mean? I personally have mad love for he's women. He's got mad love for women and he wants to see them progress. I, I don't and want. Admires. I don't want women who work for niggas. I don't want women who beg niggas. I don't want women who wait for niggas. I want women who take what they need and work for it. So I don't care if you tell me, oh, I have a sugar daddy. I don't want to. I don't want to listen to the story. I'm sorry. That's just me. And also but just but I don't that. hate on like, that. I don't hate on it. I'm just saying I'm not trying to listen to that. I'm trying to listen to another one. Trying to do. Why I wanted to ask you guys is because we work with so many other women in the crew and we see them. How do you view the position of women now in society? Do you, do you see the opportunities are there? Do you see spaces for them? Do you see them growing or is it still like some of the doors are closed? You know, like some of the doors are closed, but like. I think women have a sense of entitlement from time to time. Oh my God, you just sold me, sold them out. But it's all right, yeah. like in the same sense that like black guys, <coughs> black boys, like black people in general, black South African young people have a sense of entitlement. We wait for the government to wait for this, we wait for that, we wait for this. Women want to be like, oh God, we want to be given the opportunity. Like here you go, you know. But. If it's not there, they're gonna sit back and be like, okay, guys are always oppressing us, this, this, that, that, this. But you're willing and able to have a mouth, you have legs, you're able bodied, you have a mind, so why not use it? I think I do this, I did this before I was part of Black Nation, and I'm still doing it now, regardless of whether the platform was there. And I'm sure if you guys didn't come along, I would have probably been like, hey, I'm here! What's really, really interesting for people that are listening as well is the come up and the root of it all. Because me and, and Jacob, we, we, we met you guys like 2011, I think. Right at, the beginning. right at the beginning. You know what I mean? When it was the, the, the tagline was youth content, and I think that's 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 what attracted our our mindset as well to you guys is because it was youth content and youth relevant. And and basically it was something that's that's fresh because a lot of people weren't looking at the avenue of internet and DIY, which is something that you're doing, but now it's on a bigger scale. When did it get to that point? When, when did it, when, was it a gradual process or did you wake up and say, flip to the season, we need a bigger, bigger team now. Let's, let's find people and let's find women as well because yeah. niggas are groupies and just want free tickets and get drunk and then pass out. We want that gigs. too though. <laughs> But yo, generally chicks are more focused than they yeah. than dudes, you know what I mean? But when you get there, yes, so yes. when did you get that epiphany? The thing you mean for us, like you said, it was organic. Uh, it, you know, for a very long time we were, you know, just the two of us. Uh, he'd do the shooting, I'd do the, you know, interview people, and I'd do the post-production of all the work that we did. We did a lot of video content initially before Africa came in and we just wanted to explore the magazine side of things. I mean, I know when we did stuff with you back in the day, we tried, but it was not really where we wanted it to be. So the moment Africa came in, I mean, the first issue of Black Nation magazine was pretty much Africa itself. You know, she wrote, I think, every last article in that issue, which is amazing. And that was, I think, about 60 pages which was not bad, we had about 10 pages of ads and like about 50 pages of content, which was amazing, both me and photography, articles, and everything in between. But growth, man, it's been organic, and the thing people are loving what we do, and for the fact that everybody's got space within the movement, you still get to grow your brand as an individual. Like I said earlier on, I mean, Prime Session, they're growing their own brand within the Black Nation movement. Uh, the focus is to be the biggest collaborative platform in Africa. That's where we're going. We want to establish other branches in Ghana, in Kenya, in Nigeria. Uh, go to Morocco, you know, and have other people doing stuff in Black Nation. Yeah. For us, that's very important, and that's the focus. Yeah. It's about now. We are the movement. Catch our weekly show. Fashion meets interior architecture with Prime Obsession. Fastness brings you urban expression of the youth culture. Conversations driven by the love of music with your girl Q. Then get front row seats and zoom into our adventures on Thursday. Last, don't miss our weekly update. We are Black Nation. Pop lyrical. So, technically, how many people did you bring today? Uh, I think we've got about 14, and we have eight that do not yet. Alright. Have yeah. you just put the check, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. 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 I know there's these little problems that yeah. people have where you're all the same age, but there's one guy who's kind of like the CEO. Yeah. And there's always going to be that guy like, huh. 
screw this nigga because we're the same age. Yeah, those are petty little things, yeah. but they actually impact yeah. a lot of organizations yeah. where those guys like your age and you yeah. see him and you're like, no man, come on, whatever this guy is saying, I can do. How, how have you guys managed to like respect the fact that he's the founder and he stays in his position and you, you know, you delegate work according to who's what he does. How do you keep the synergy going? Like just, let's just do work. I mean, I think it's respect. Like yeah. at the end of the day, like we fight about a lot of stupid stuff, like a lot of stupid stuff, but it's never like, oh, he's the boss or he's that kind of like, no, no, it's because, <laughs> It's because even if, like Drewski, thank you, um, is like the father and Tula's like the founder. Mother, it's, you it's, the mom. No, guys, <laughs> yeah. I'm the youngest here anyway, but like, yeah. It's never like that age, ageism, yeah. we don't have that shit. Like, it's not parliament. Mm. So we don't have that. We want to fuse like political, very strong opinions and stuff into it. Because we believe like young people are so like ignorant. They don't give a shit about like, like what's happening in the world, like real stuff, like yeah, politics. Yeah, yeah. Real important stuff like mm -hmm. the Sona thing, for example. No yeah. one really cares. They're about that turn up. So what, what yeah. to do? Is he's a turn up. Oh, wait, wait. Before before he goes on the mind, this guy did an amazing body shoot for the upcoming issue, which drops yeah. next to Tuesday, yeah. the seventh of April. Yeah. When, when the boss can be from? Fantastic, fantastic work together. Mm -hmm. Final session. The styling is mad. Uh, the entire thing is crazy. You guys are just going to love the fashion section. Yo, I'm here, sit there. Come to you, my brother, don't be afraid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't, don't do that deep voice thing if you ain't got it, man. Yo, man. I don't. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> what's good, my brother? Yo, what's up? I'm good, brother, man. How you doing? I'm easy, man. Uh, I'm chilling, brother. Yeah, my name is Mulefe. Oh, I do uh, other, other photo photography and uh, videography. Yeah, yeah. yeah. videography and photography. You're the yes. man with the, the behind the skills. Yeah, yeah. Make people look good. Behind the skills. I reckon work, work uh, yeah. people, people, yeah. people yeah. 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 yeah, skills, you know. Yeah, amazing. Training every day, yeah. yeah. Be and the then uh, there's a man behind you. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, we know Tula's made it. Yeah. Yeah. Tula's made it. We don't need to put him on the mic. Black Nation is the best because you are pop political. <laughs> we are black. We are great. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, did you pay your TV license? We don't own TV. <laughs> we don't watch TV. Damn, <laughs> we pay it our own TV. We're trying to yeah. get on That's TV nice. so we can actually get data. All right, girl. Right. We're in the data game. The one thing I learned from home that's kept me alive it's till now. To stay humble, respect other people. Like, always keep at it. Keep working hard. Uh, no, South Africa, like. <laughs> 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 All you needed was Nelson Mandela at the end, and you're in. But with that, mutual respect, so yeah. just keep asking, I guess. Alright, alright. Um, <laughs> black kids are great. Super cool, man. They're about to fuck shit up. Black mm -hmm. kids are black nation. Right, yeah. Shit. <laughs> okay, this is just like the last one. Do you catch your bread rectangular or triangular? I'll be sharing. Share the bread. Share the bread. Content, uh, referencing some of the dope stuff we've seen across the world, and also really trying to take our content abroad. So that's the focus with Black Nation TV, with Black Nation Magazine. That's another platform, man, yeah. for us to keep the young people reading and writing long ass articles and. <laughs> <laughs> And, and doing some really nice photography for pretty much everything that we do. Yeah. And also, again, trying to communicate to young people. And the third division of the company being the agency side of it. So that's the brand strategy part of the company where we do brand insights because I've got background in marketing, brand research and market research. Yo, I've seen